good evening friends and welcome to the new show and today we are going to see the reinforcement details of a slab rcc slab okay so first uh, just have a look uh, around the site that should be the i think first uh, thing what we should do is that look around around the all the elements okay so now we will we are going to see the individual aspects uh, of a uh, of the reinforcement in a rcc slab <coughs> Uh, so can you uh, what all uh, are you able to identify uh, rcc slab is there bent up bars are there beam another beam column column reinforcement dowel bars of the column cover blocks concealed conduits what else chairs Uh, beam stirrups junction box what else chairs uh, we just uh, spoke okay so let us start uh, discussing various things so point number 1 this is a rcc slab this is rcc beam these are the top bars of the beam these are the stirrups this is the main beam this is the column these bars are called bent up bars this bar main bar is coming then it is bent up this is bent up bar this is the cover block provided below these bars this is uh, shuttering ply mind well the rcc slab shuttering can be done either through steel plates or through plywood this is waterproof marine application plywood 12 mm thick of specification 34 kg per square meter the weight of the ply will be 34 kg per square meter here you are able to see this is the duct this is the toilet portion which is called sunk portion this is the reinforcement of the sunk slab in the toilet now can you see a beam beam side fixed here this type of shuttering is called sunk Uh, this type of shuttering is done in the sunk portion this is called hanging type of shuttering this is called hanging now why it is called hanging you can see from this point to this point there is only one temporary support given to the side so what happens when we first do the casting of this sunk portion and then when the concrete reaches up to this point this entire bottom is supported on concrete then what we do we remove this we remove this uh, lafa okay and then we start casting this beam is it clear this is the reinforcement of the secondary beam provided in the sunk portion now go ahead oh here are you able to see the chair provided below the slab bars the provision of chair is done so that the exact height of the top bars is maintained properly and when during the concrete the uh, trolley is moved on the reinforcement still this becomes undisturbed and now look here these are called dowel bars of the column now what is a dowel bar these bars have been left here so that the next 
column bar can be tied on the on this so dowel bar length is normally 45 times diameter of this bar if this bar is say 20 mm then 45 into 20 mm gives you 900 mm so from this laptop minimum height of 900 mm should be maintained okay now here you see another good practice at sight all the bars are of different lengths they are all exceeding 900 mm but you can see these are some bars are shorter some bars are longer this is an excellent practice because if you cut all the bars of the same length then what happens the lap which you are going to do for the next floor all the lab joints will be in the same plane and then the column will become weak at this section so therefore to avoid that thing these column bars are cut in varying lengths These are the cover blocks for a RCC slab the cover would be between 15 mm to 20 mm. This we explained sunk portion, this is sunk portion, column, stirrups, these are the concealed MS pipes conduits. This could be MS pipes or, or uh, PVC pipes, okay. This, uh, what we are seeing in the picture are I think uh, 25 mm thick, 25 mm diameter pipes. This, this thing is called junction box. This is junction box. can see there is a curved beam this peripheral beam is curved which requires curved shattering of the for the beams now some more terms the vertical sides for any rcc element are called shattering the horizontal elements of the formwork on which the slab will be supported is called centering. So this is all centering, this is shattering, this is shattering, okay. What else you want to see? These are the stirrups, this is the hook of the stirrup and while calculating the cutting length of the stirrup we need to add this loop length there is a standard formula for that there was little rain here and you can see the traces of the water this slab is now ready for casting maybe tomorrow tomorrow in the afternoon we shall cast it because still the uh, RCC consultants checking is uh, remaining once in the morning he comes and uh, clears the slab for casting then the slab will be cast okay so in today's video what all we saw we saw dowel bars chairs beam reinforcement slab reinforcement bent up bars conduits junction boxes hanging shattering, uh, cover blocks, stirrups, loop or hook of the stirrup and uh, sides of the beams, centering and shattering. These uh, 20 terms today we have learnt. Okay friends, so if you like uh, this video, please put a like mark and if you like this channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel the more subscribers are there the more i am encouraged 
to provide you with quality videos okay dear friends so thank you so much bye bye see you again in the next session take care bye